What's up? Welcome to vlog five? Yeah, it's five. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I haven't really vlogged in the last couple days. Uh, just because I don't think doing this daily is really a sustainable thing. And, uh, that's fine. Uh, haircut and a shave so I'm not as stra scraggly as I was before not that, that really matters um, today I want to talk about ideas uh, and I mean that in the sense of like a good idea or, or a I guess, let's talk profitable idea, even though where I'm going with this isn't profitable at all. And, uh, you know, it becomes increasingly clear to me, you know, if you want to have a life outside of the typical 9 to 5 job, or just have something where you want to be your own boss whatever that means is that you need a good idea and that could be could be a you know a franchising opportunity to you know providing a service uh, and that's just where I'm at right now god I wish I had a good idea this vlog probably isn't a great idea uh, but it's something, and that's all this is supposed to be, and like I said, this is right now, here right now, this is for me, and so if you stumble upon this or see it from my social media, it's, thanks for watching, it's cool, it's awesome, uh, I know what this is, I know what it looks like, and, you know, I'll, I promise to make this better, I just... I'm working on it. Uh, and I'm off track. So, here's my idea for the day. And like I said, I don't, this isn't a, well, it might be a profitable idea, but it's not something I'm ever going to bring to fruition because it's not, it's well out of my wheelhouse. Uh, and to be honest, this is inspired by one of my favorite, uh, YouTube slash like, social media chat uh, outlets, and that's uh, Crime Pays but Botany Doesn't. Uh, not exactly sure on the gentleman's name that runs that, uh, mostly because I've seen it like three or four different ways in there, and I think that's by design. And yeah, I don't think he would really approve of me you know, using him as inspiration for a, what you'll see is kind of a silly idea, uh, but basically, you know, if you have, if you're not familiar with the channel, and I think you're probably not, because not enough people watch his, or watch his Instagram, which is just perfect in every way, uh, he is a, a gentleman living out in the Oakland area, uh, and as a joke, because he grew up in the Chicago area, and if you don't know me, I also grew up in the Chicago area, so that's kind of how I got introduced to him. Uh, he does vid videos on botany, uh, and he does these videos in a very exaggerated Chicago accent, and, uh, it's delightfully abrasive. Um... And, uh, you know, I guess I'll, if I figure out how to do that in post, I'll put a link down in the comments, uh, for something as simple as YouTube. I'm still screwing up on that, but neither here nor there. Uh, everything that he does, like, when I say, like, he does stuff on body, it is superbly in informational, uh, and all his, his goal is, is to educate the masses about, you know, the plants, 
and things around us so we can, you know, by learning about it, maybe we, you know, start respecting it a little. Uh, it's great. You know, check it out. I don't, I didn't mean to be, to be a huge plug, but the big thing is what I've learned from that is that, especially in, in the field of, of botany and whatnot, is just how astoundingly diverse, you know, a world is. And I guess I should get to the point here. And I think about things like Pokemon Go um, in the aspect of that you go out, you walk around. Sorry, uh, Life Star is flying by. I don't know how loud it is here, but it's pretty loud here. Uh, almost gone. All right. You know, you go out and you catch Pokemon. You know, you get variety. There's certain places with drops and there's other stuff to it, like, you know, no training these Pokemon that you catch in gym battles, stuff like that. I don't want to get too much into it. I'm not... I kind of missed the ball in Pokemon, uh, and I don't have the attachment that a lot of people do to it. Um, that's fine. This isn't really about Pokemon, but what it is, the idea behind Pokemon Go, which everyone really enjoyed what Pokemon Go was when it first came out. Basically, it was that, that game that got you to go out with your phone and go walking and, and exploring you know, your, the world around you. And... The thing is, they're you know, just like, we don't need, hey little girl, we don't need, uh, you know, imaginary monsters out to do these things. Like, we can, there are so many things out in the real world that we can track down on our own any which way. And, you know, that brings me to botany. You know, I originally... You know, so, you know, design the same kind of game, but you know, locate plants and uh, you know, get points and stuff assigned. But I don't know. I I don't have it hammered out because again, this isn't something that I'll ever do or I have the capability of doing. But I think it's a great idea. I would love to do it with animals and birds as well. Like I know the Audubon app has an ability of, you know, to, to you know, announce your sightings and whatnot like that, but for the purposes of, you know, the ranking and actual confirmation, you know, it's tough to confirm that you saw a yellow-throated sparrow with your, your phone, like, you know, from my previous video, you know, I told you the troubles I've had taking pictures of birds, uh, so I don't know if you have proof positive, but it's a, it is a lot easier to take like, a picture of a leaf or something. Uh, so I think you can do, you know, take that Pokemon Go idea, you know, keep in the walking aspect, but actually find plants and stuff. And, you know, assign you know, point values to it. It's something to get people engaged. And that's, again, if you, if you need the money aspect into it outside of, you know, ugh. You know, the dirty word of microtransactions or something like that. I don't know. I just think it's a good idea. I, mean, I know there's plant ID apps out there that are, you know, pay to play and things like that. But again, like I said, I'm actually talking like a game aspect. And I just think, I don't know, I think that would be fun. And I think, you know, going back to, you know, uh, yeah, you know, the mission of the YouTube channel I mentioned earlier, you know, that would get people interested in, you know, in plants, and there's just, you know, a lot of variety there, and, you know, if someone comes up with a better idea how to do, sorry, I'm trying to figure out what my dogs are up to, hey, Maddox, get down, get off the fence, hey, Psst. They listen so well. Okay. Oh, if that gets to a point where we can do animals and stuff, that would be awesome. 
I don't know, that's just, you know, what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, if there's anything that you want me to talk about, uh, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, I will leave it at that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.